you yeah you know what's weird is last year i had a throw for some reason it was 2159 was my season's best but for some reason it, like i told you this year about that 2147 there's just some meets i i don't know if world athletics just doesn't recognize them but that's like last year everybody just says i threw 2140 but i threw 2159 okay but i mean still but i mean it's just one of those things where like yeah it, I, I mean i could talk about this quickly too like um 2020's year was like i said 16 meets over 21 it was a huge like that 2019 the 2073 i threw was big because it was a world standard but 2020 was like my big breakout year mm-hmm. um and it was just kind of one of those things where i was like wow now i'm really a part of it because i went to a diamond league at the end of that year went to a bunch of gold level meets like did really really well had a, like five meets over in europe over 21 like had just a really really good year i was really locked in and then once the olympic year came around i was kind of more I was locked in, but I was just kind of like, I don't know if it was a negative space inherently. I didn't even really understand it, but it was just kind of like, I was at a point where I was just working so hard and kind of getting back to like old Nick Ponzio. Like it was like, not a good thing. Like I was getting really heavy again, but really strong in the weight room. Probably that year was probably the strongest I'd ever been. Um, I almost benched 600 pounds that year. I did like 597 bench. And it was just like, I was really, really really strong like i was just like i remember being like oh i, I deadlifted a thousand pounds on a trap bar like i just, i did like a lot of really crazy feats that year and um and i unfortunately with doing that everything was very fringe that year and i unfortunately got hurt right before the olympics and uh i was doing i was in a gym in rome and i was doing jerks and i thought i needed to do a weight that i probably just honestly i probably could have rested like we talked about mm-hmm. earlier in the book i'm better but I was doing like a 205 kilo jerk and uh, I had five by two on it and I did like four sets and on my fifth set got in front of me and came down and crashed on my knees and, and really, crashed. yeah, it, uh, a lot of, I don't know if a lot of people know that, um, but I, I it just, that's, that's what really hindered my performance and I ended up not throwing well at all. I'm surprised I even threw to be honest. Like, like with, if you would have seen Zane saw this, but if you would have seen the way my knees looked and if you would have seen how bad it was just to even try to throw, the fact that I even threw that day was is a miracle. So, um, yeah, it was just kind of like a, a bad swing down, but um, that like up to down to back up has been really, really beneficial for me because I think mentally it's kind of made me turn a page and be like, hey, you know, as a professional, this this is in, in throwing in general, this is a long game. It's It's a chess match. It's not it's not like a, hey, I'm going to do this one thing or, hey, there's this magic pill and it's just going to be good right away. I mean, any of the guys that are good right now, they had really humble beginnings. I mean, I remember I competed against Ryan Krauser, the best of all time in college, and I there was a meet that I almost got Ryan. Like, he beat me by, like, two centimeters. And, like, it's just there's just there's, – there's massive changes in where you go physically, mentally, emotionally um, to really be at this level. And I think for me that, that uh, the, the culmination of my career up to this point has been really good for me um, for all of those different sort of facets of training and, and competing.